Not a, this is not a scam. It's a legend call. Department of Social Security Administration. How can I help you today? I got a, a voicemail about fraudulent activity on my Social Security card number. Okay, when did you receive the call, sir? Oh, it was, like today or yesterday? Oh, no, it was today. It was like 1.30 or so. Okay, and sir, may I know, like, did you receive any call from your local police station? Or did you receive, like, any case ID? No, I didn't hear nothing about that. Okay, first of all, let me check out your file. What is wrong, okay, sir? Yes, okay. Can you help me with your first name and your last name? My first name is Mike, M-I-K-E. Okay. Last name and your last name, please? Roland, R-O-L-U-N-D, Mike Roland. R-O-N, right? D, R-O-L-U-N-D. -R okay, you said R-O-L-O-U-N-D, right? No, sir. L-O-L-U-N-D, Mike Roland. Okay, okay. you said R-O-L, right? Right. L as in Lincoln. <clears throat> and after that, U N D, right? Right. Okay. And sir, can you verify me only the last, okay? Only the last four digits of your social number. One, so that I can pull up your file without any hesitation. Um, 1463. And how old are you right now, sir? 80. 80, right? Yes. Okay, just hold on. Give me a quick moment. Let me check out your file, okay? Okay, thank you. And sir, where are you right now? Are you at workplace or are you at home? At work? I'm 80. I'm home. Okay. Just alone, okay? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes. Okay, I got your file here. Okay, you have a middle name that is W. W like a whiskey. Is that correct? So the what? I didn't hear you. Middle name. Middle name that is W. Yep. Like, like a whiskey. Yeah. W like a whiskey, right? Right. Okay, and this is your area zip code number 60187. Yeah. Okay, I got your file here, and sir, let me ask you some question. like in the past. Have you ever lost your um, wallet, your personal ID, or did you share any of your personal information with someone else? Uh, you know, it's, or it's, have fun, you it's funny, yes, and I, I lost my wallet a couple of weeks ago. I lost okay. my wallet, and I told my, my great-granddaughter about it, and she said, don't worry about it, Gramp, but I guess I do now, right? Okay. Okay. She said, the thing is that, the thing is that from the small things, it becomes very big issue. The thing is that we got an order from the higher authorities, that is from the federal government, uh -huh. but more than five people, more than five people are using the same social number. Oh, my god. So we got a notification. We got a notification that your social number... Uh -uh. It's going to be cancelled because uh -uh. the government has found some suspicious fraud activities going on under your name, and it seems to be entirely illegal. Okay. Uh, but I don't understand how you can do that with me. I didn't do anything uh, wrong. So have you ever been to the state of Texas in the past? Oh, state yeah. of Texas. Years ago, I was down there in Texas. I, I was on. Don went to visit Roy Rogers on his ranch, but that was years okay, ago. Sir. Roy's been gone for years now, Roy. Okay. He passed away. But, okay, that was rest, like a God 10 rest years. His, God rest but, his soul, yes. No, so it might be like 10 years, 10 years, right? Oh, it was longer than that. It was probably okay. 1958, maybe. Okay. That was the last okay, time I was in Texas. And then okay, shortly sir. after that, Roy passed, and I didn't want to go back down there. It's just too sad. Okay. See, sir, your social security has been compromised in the state of Texas, okay? Okay. I don't know how it so got to Texas. All, I don't know. So, first of all, let me notify you what is going on under your name. Okay. So that you can also... So that you can also alert yourself in the future, okay? Okay. So, the social security has been compromised in the state of Texas, and the investigation began under your name and your social number. There are three charges under your name. The first one is money laundering. The second one is drug trafficking. 
And the third one is there are multiple address to register under your name. So we found strong evidence, money laundering, drug trafficking, yeah, want... and there are multiple address. Okay. There are multiple address registered under your name. So we found strong was, evidence. I didn't know that, that was not... illegal to have multiple addresses. I don't know. I only got one, but okay. I didn't realize okay. that. So we, so sir, we found strong evidence that this was not an innocent act, but was a willful act done with the intention to defraud the federal government. Okay. Okay. And remember one thing: this call is also recorded by the Department of Homeland Security, Federal Trade Commission, and U.S. Marshal for legal purpose. Anything and everything you speak will be considered true and will stand as a proof in a court of law, which may or may not cause against you, okay? I, I, I can't go to court. I can't go. I yeah, that's why. No. That's why I'm telling you this call. This call is also recorded by the Department of Homeland Security, oh, good. Federal Trade Commission, and U.S. Marshal for legal purpose. Federal Anything Trade and Commission. everything that's good. They're listening. Yes. Okay. I don't know what. So the investigation. Oh. Okay. The okay. investigation began under your name and uh -huh. your social number. Okay. When we recovered an abandoned car in the southern border of Texas. The car make and a model was Toyota with a vehicle registration number Texas 73520. So do you identify this car? It's a Toyota Corolla. It's a red color. I don't have a red Toyota Corolla. No sir, I don't. Okay. I, I don't even okay. I don't even drive that much. I got a car but it's it's older and I don't drive it much. Just okay, sir. Go this to car doctors. I, I drive right, it to right. go to the doctor. Okay. I got a lot of doctor's appointments, but I don't go anywhere. I certainly wasn't in Texas with it. Hello. Yes, hello. So, sir, this car was lying idle on the street, and the local report was about the there. car. Okay. To, can you listen to me, please? Yes, I'm can trying. Can you listen sir. to me? I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I'm sorry. So, listen very carefully, okay? I will. So this car was lying idle on the street and the local reported up of the car to be suspicious after which the local sheriff investigated the car and the okay and they found this car was they found some blood and drugs inside the car and they also found this car was rendered under your name along with the two address that is Houston Texas and El Beso Texas okay oh, I, 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 I didn't rent it I did, what can I tell you I didn't rent it Okay, and sir, the second address, El Beso, Texas, already a suspicious address, which was created by the State Ranger Division and U.S. Marshal. And, and uh -huh. so, no, uh, so no one was there, the Nobody resistance, was, okay. and they found, they found the little bone of Gauguin, and they, they also found some papers and documentation. They, they found what? How much like, cocaine? Can you please, like, can cocaine. you please? Can you listen to me? Yeah, I'm, can you I'm, listen trying, to me? I'm trying to understand what you said about the cocaine. You said something. So listen, listen to me. I will give you a fair. I will give you okay. a fair chance okay. once yes. once I finish. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. So they found the little bone of cocaine, and they also found some papers and documentation, confirming like more than 15 business bank accounts under your name, and your social number. So the question arises: When we were investigating this bank statement with a respective bank financial institution. We found like more than $500,000 has been wired from this account locally and internationally. So this looks completely suspicious because yeah, this transaction was met with a narco operating country like Mexico I, and I Colombia. I don't even know how okay? to wire money. I don't even know how to do that, wire money. I've never so, done it. So these are the criminal okay. activities found yeah. on you by the federal government, okay. and this was not the an innocent government. act. Okay. And the federal government, the and government. the federal government, they have also given a notification that there is an arrest warrant against you. Against me. They have given only a short time. That against, is 48 against hours. Against Mike Roland. Okay. Under my name, Mike Roland. Yeah, there is an arrest warrant against you. Oh, they have given no. only a short uh, time. That is 48 hours. Of course, to the courthouse, you have to fight the federal government. And How if can you I lose fight the case, whole federal government? Pay, and in case, in case if you lose this case, you have to pay like more than eighty-five thousand oh, dollars as know. a penalty, and you have to go behind the bar for the coming twenty-five years. I there can't go behind the bar. I'm eighty years old. It was old. based on. 
they will freeze down all your bank accounts so that you won't be able to receive any kind of social benefit from the government. That's what There's I get. Kind of notification, I, okay? I get the government uh, uh, benefits. That's what I live at. Okay. I get social security. Okay. In my retirement. Okay, so sir, so the thing is that if you are not doing this kind of criminal activity, no, you I'm have not. to help the federal government. Okay, you have okay. to help the federal I, government. I'll help the government. So, what have I got to do? Yeah, that's why. If you are not doing this kind of criminal activities, you have to help the federal government I said so I that you can able I to get. Said, I said I'd help them, the government. Listen to me, okay? Listen to me. I am. Okay? I'm just telling you. I said I'd help. You asked me to help, and I said so that, I would. Yeah, if you are not doing this kind of criminal activities, you have to help the federal government. So that they're gonna able to catch the culprit who is doing okay. this kind of illegal activities uh, using your name or okay. using someone information, okay? Yeah, let's get this culprit. And if you and if you want to help the federal government, I said I would right help now, the federal government. Yeah, if you want to help the federal government I right now, this recorder line. Listen Four, to me. Listen to me. Five times I said I would do it. Five times I said I would help the government. That's why listen to me. Listen to me what I'm telling you, okay? Okay, okay. So, if you want to help the federal government right now, on this recorded line, we can connect your call with a senior officer that is from the DEA, that is Drugs Enforcement Administration, okay? What did they got to do with it? DEA? Do you know DEA? Yeah, I know. And that is, okay. I that know what it is. Important. I don't know why they're involved with me. I don't have drugs. Okay. So, yeah, if you cooperate with the DA department, they will suspend your social number by the day itself. And once your social number is suspended, you will be receiving a brand new social number oh. by the day itself, okay? Okay, okay, as long as they're going to give me a new one, and, yeah, I need it. Yeah, well, and I lost you the other one. I told you I lost the other one anyway, so I'm going to need a new one. So you will be receiving a brand new social number by today, oh, so, and once the old, and once the old one is laminated? used by the criminal... Will it be laminated this time? Listen to me, listen to okay. me, listen to me. Okay, okay, once the, once the old one is used by the criminal, they can able to track down yeah. and they can able to catch the culprit. You are using this kind of illegal activities, using your name. Okay. Or using someone information, okay? Okay, let's uh, let's do that. Because because this is the only way to catch the criminal. That's and if your way. social okay. number is if your social number is not suspended, the criminal, the bad people, they will keep on using your information. So yeah, we the government that. doesn't like no, that one, okay? Let's, okay, let's do that then. So shall I connect your call with a senior officer? Okay, yes. Okay, so sir, before I connect your call with a senior officer, first of all. I have to fill up the verification asset, that is NRC, that is non-objection certificate, okay? Uh, okay, NRC, okay. NOC, that is non-objection certificate, so that I will send a mail to the senior officer to request to hold your arrest warrant, okay? Yeah, well, yes, please hold it, because I, and I here from the, go to jail. And here from the, and sir, here from the federal government, they have given like more than 15 business bank accounts under your name. So which one is not yours? Which one is fake? That will be suspended. That will be shut down by the day itself. And whatever belongs to you, whatever connected with your social number, that will be safeguarded by you. Because okay. once your social number is suspended, everything will be frozen by the government. So we don't want to lose your hard-earned money, okay? No, I don't want to lose my money. No. Yeah, so that's why. Okay. You have, what first of all, to, you have, have to do? What do we have to do here? Yeah, to protect, that's why, to get first my of all, money. okay. Yeah, that's Go why. Ahead. First of all, you have yes. to safeguard. Listen to me. Listen to me, okay. okay? First okay, of all, you have you. to safeguard. Okay. First of all, you have to safeguard everything what is connected with your social number. I, because that's right. Once your social number is suspended, everything will be free. I don't want. Everything yeah, will be I don't want my stuff every, freeze. No. So, so be honest with me, do Okay, I'll be honest. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So, do you have any vehicle, any vehicle, any car under your name? Yes, I do have a car. So, how many cars do you have under your name? Oh, I only got one. I only need one. Okay. You have only one car, right? Right. And any property, any house under your name? No. I live in a senior, fa and, okay. senior facility, senior living facility. Okay. And uh, how, how many bank accounts do you have under your name? Two, two accounts, I guess you could say, because I got a checking and a savings. No, bank. 
like how many bank account do you have one or two two bank accounts it's the same bank, bank account yes and do you have any like do you have any like uh debit card under your name yes i i got a debit card too two debit card right no one okay one debit card okay and credit card how many credit card do you have i just got one that's all i need credit credit card right one credit card right okay yeah and do you have any feature do you have any feature investment like 401k ira no i don't have any of this uh, no right no, no feature investment right no, no i don't have one so you said that you have you said that you have um, only one bank account. What is the name of the bank? My I bank a TD Bank. TD Bank, right? Yes. So in your TD Bank, you have like saving account and checking account. Yes. Saving and checking, right? Correct. And your credit card. What is the name of the bank? TD Bank. TD Bank, right? Yep. Okay. And you said that uh, in your TD Bank, you have checking account and saving account, right? Right. Okay, and sir, can you tell me rough idea, okay, rough idea, last time when you check your balance, that is in your checking account, oh, can you yeah. tell me rough idea, can you tell me rough idea, yeah, how much roughly, balance it was? Probably roughly 300 in the checking, roughly. Okay, and in your saving, any rough idea? Yeah, roughly 500, probably. 500, so, right? Yeah, something like that. And your credit card, that is TD, TD Bank, what is the limit? 3,000. And did you use or not? I used it all up. So after you see how much balance it left? Zero. I used it all up. I had to buy okay. prescriptions. So you're telling me that in your checking account you have like $300 and in your saving you have $500, right? Right. Yes, so sir. first of all, this is your hard-earned money. So yes, before sir is. something is happened to you, something is happened to you, you have to safeguard everything because if your social number is suspended, everything will be taken by the government. Everything will oh, be freed by the I government. Don't want, I don't so we don't want to do lose that. your hard-earned money, I, okay? No, I got to keep my hard-earned money. Yeah. Okay. So, right now, can I also go to the bank? You want me to call the bank? No, you have to safeguard that money because you have to go to the bank. You have, you have to withdraw your money, and once you withdraw everything, from the DA department, they will tell you how to safeguard your money, and from the DA department, they will suspend your social number. That will be your social number that will be shut down by the day itself. And once your social number is suspended, you will be receiving a brand new social number, okay? Okay. So, can you able to walk down to the bank? Walk to the bank? No, I can't walk to the bank. No, it's not, I believe it's not far, right? Well, I can't go outside. I'm under. I'm uh, vulnerable. Okay, so you can able to go outside. No, because of the pandemic, I'm vulnerable. Because of my age, okay. they told me to told me to avoid large crowds. So is there I, any I, way I have, to part? I, I have a man. Is there any way? Is there any way? Any way what? To go. Can, can you send any one, any one of your relatives, your son or your grandson, to the bank? Boy, you sure want my eight hundred fucking dollars bad, don't you, you scamming bastard? Huh? Sir, uh, hello. Yes, go ahead, scam. Go ahead, you shithead. You scamming bastard. Go ahead. Try to steal eight hundred dollars from an eighty year old man. You're a piece of shit. A piece of shit. You still there, fuckface? Huh? I see you're still there. I can see it, stupid. You dumb fuck. What a fucking moron. Answer me, scammer. You fuckface motherfucker. I fucking hate you guys, you know that? I mean, I really hate you. Answer me, you fucker! You okay, you have a great day. Bye-bye. You a thief! You thief! Thank you for calling Social Security Administration Department. How can I help you? Yeah, I was talking to somebody and I got disconnected, sir. I don't know what happened. Okay, may I know your first and your last name? Yes, first name is Mike. M-I-K-E. Are you sure? Yes, Mike, M-I-K-E. 
Do you have initial name? Do you have middle name? Yeah. W. William. Okay. So what did the officer told you? He told I hope me. and I believe you remember the name, right? Why? Because the officer I didn't get his provide name. you his name. He didn't give me his name. He gave his Okay, so I did you write it down? Uh, no, I didn't write it down. Why don't you write it down? He told you to grab a pen and piece of paper. What do you think of yourself? This is a very sensitive case. I will, don't yell at me, please. Don't try to waste my time, okay? You are not only the customer. I have a thousand to two hundred thousand dollars, okay? Just like money, okay? Money? I don't, I don't get you. You know? Why don't you go and fuck yourself? Go yourself, fuck yourself, why once you don't go, make me a call back. Why don't you go outside and get hit by a bus? Social Security Administration, help you? Yes, I, I got a call to call this number. And when did you receive the call? About 2.30. Okay, and can I have your first name and your last name in order to pull out the information? Yes, my first name is Mike, M-I-K-E. And what's the last name? Litt, L-I-T-T, -T. Mike Litt. L-I? T-T, -T. Mike Litt. D-T. L-I-T-T. -T. -T. Okay, L-I-T-T. Mike Litt. Mike my lip okay so hold on for a second let me pull out the okay. information of why we called you okay okay oh uh, mike yes hello okay here yeah hello oh hello you there ma'am uh, yes yes can you hear me yes okay here uh the reason of this call is to notify you about the intimation to suspend your social security number uh, that's what the other scammer said rundy that's the exact same thing the other scammer said, you Rundy bitch. What Rundy bitch? You. You, you thief. What do you mean, well, Rundy bitch? I'm only talking to one. You scamming bastards. Who said that I'm a scammer? I did. I did. I did. Me. Are, Mike are Glick. You, a scammer? you are a scamming are bastard, you lady. A you are. And so are all the little pork chops over there with you. Who? Uh, you don't know what a pork chop is. Never mind. The other goat's with you over there. Tell me. Explain me. Huh? Explain you. I'm not going to explain you. You thief. Explain why, me. Why would I tell a thief anything? Huh? A thief and bastards. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I did uh -oh. it again. Are you in the washroom? Yeah, but you know who I am? Wait a minute. I'm Batman. I'm you have, Batman. You have lost motion. <laughs> I know, I know. You have a lost motion. <laughs> oh, no, I burp too. <laughs> you want to hear any more there, scammer lady? Okay, scammer, I gotta go. I'll call you back, though. Don't worry about it, okay? I don't want you to miss me, okay? No. Okay, Rundy, I'll call you back. Don't worry about it. Call, call to me now. I don't want to talk to you now. I already, I already talked to the other mope for half an hour. He tried to steal eight. He tried to steal eight hundred dollars from me. I don't know what the fuck his name was. I don't know some asshole over there. So he tried to steal eight hundred dollars, but I I knew he was a scam, so I just let him along like I am you, lady, a scammer, a lady scammer. Don't don't you feel bad scamming people? No. No, you like being a thief. I like it. You like it? Well, as long as you like it, I guess you can keep on doing it. I don't know. I you don't know what to tell you then. Just be a thief. I love it. Be a thief. Maybe I can get you a job at the titty bank. Huh? I can get you a real job. This is my real job. This is not a real job. This is stealing money. This is my real job. I mean, I can get no. you an actual job where you go to work. <laughs> I can get you a job at the Titty Bank. You're going to have to start at the this low end, though. You're going to start at the low end of the pole. So you're hiring? Yeah. Yeah. For your, ma for your mate? To huh? Are you hiring for your mate? Titty Bank. No. What are you doing? Eating lunch? 
Yes, I'm oh. having lunch. Oh, good, good, good. Well, I gotta go. I gotta call other scammers. I'll probably call you guys back too. Now. No, don't, don't hang up. Why? I don't want to eat alone. I don't want to have alone. Why? Because you want to look like you're working, and so you don't have to do anything. I'm having lunch, and I'm enjoying talking with you. Oh, so so it looks looks like I don't want to stay alone. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it ain't gonna work out for me, so I gotta go. See you, sister. Okay, go to eat lunch. Okay, see you, thief. Okay, thief. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.